We've done a Disney trip with our top 10 people. We've done, you know, like workout retreats. I try to check on them for who they are as well, right? Like, hey, how's it going today, man? Like, oh, I got three deals. I'm not even asking about your deals. Like, how are you? Um, and I think my mindset is I look for opportunities to to help. Instead of looking what people are doing wrong, I do try to like what they're doing right. But when you see someone's like, you know, they post on social media about their family, man, take the time to reach out to them and say, hey, is everything okay? If you need anything, let me know. Do like little special things like that and look for those opportunities to inject because that's the ultimate feeling. It's been scientifically proven. People will work somewhere for less money if they feel they're a part of it and they care. And I do that. I do events at my house. You know, I, I try to help them with if it's financially, if it's something they're going through, you know, show them I care. When they call me, I'm, I answer. If I can't, let me call you right back. You know, and I'm having 20, 30 minute calls on a Sunday, not, hey, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You're a results oriented guy. I mean, so as far as what, what I'm seeing from you today is you expect high standards, you expect results. You, I mean, because you have that results oriented mindset. And, you know, how do you, how do you motivate people to continue on working hard? How, how you know, what, what do you do to motivate people? Yeah. So we have a, a team lead meeting every Monday. And we have a leadership meeting every Tuesday for our organization. And 70 to 80 percent of what we talk about is like what people are going through, their mindset. It is. I feel like people aren't motivated really by money. They think they are. But I, I, I try to constantly keep them motivated by who they're going to become and, and the vision and talking about what they're going through. And I think being vulnerable as well. Um, I'm not afraid to tell my story. I'm not afraid to tell when I'm down in the dumps. And we talk about a lot of that stuff. And every meeting, man, we try to get into something about your mindset, what you're going through, what to expect, and to tell the story of like, look, guys, this is what you're going to experience. This is what you might be feeling. And it resonates with a lot of people because when you just talk about numbers all the time, nobody gives a shit. Nobody really cares. And so, um, and I do it like for the company, man, we have calls. We do like, uh, you know, strategies about writing down your goal. Who do you want to become? Thinking outside the box asking for feedback on things we can do, having those people talk. We do company contests a lot, right, to keep people motivated and feel appreciated. We've done UFC. We've done a Disney trip with our top 10 people. We've done, you know, like workout retreats. I try to check on them for who they are as well, right? Like, hey, how's it going today, man? Like, oh, I got three deals. I'm not even asking about your deals. Like, how are you? Um, and I think my mindset is I look for opportunities to to help instead of looking what people are doing wrong. I do try to like what they're doing. Right. But when you see someone's like, you know, they post on social media about their family, but take the time to reach out to them and say, Hey, is everything okay? If you need anything, let me know. Do like little special things like that and look for those opportunities to inject because that's the ultimate feeling. It's been scientifically proven. People will work somewhere for less money if they feel they're a part of it and they care. And I do that. I do events at my house. You know, I, I try to help them with if it's financially, if it's something they're going through, you know, show them I care. When they call me, I'm, I answer. If I can't, let me call you right back. You know, and I'm having 20, 30 minute calls on a Sunday, not, hey, I'm sorry, I can't help you. And I think that's what really keeps people motivated because they look, they see me getting kicked in the face and keep going. And I'm not like, oh, I'm perfect. I don't make mistakes. I'm like, man, I've made some huge mistakes in our, our, our right? Like I, I chose one guy over another. This guy was a multi-million dollar producer. This other guy turned out to be a scumbag and I costed us as a company. And I'm, I own things like that. I own when I get out of line and I think we're all vulnerable. We get up and talk about what the things we go through in our meetings. And it's, I've never had more people cry in like meetings because we get very vulnerable, but that's who we are. And I think that allows people to feel you know, like a part of something. And it's, it, it does, we don't have words on our wall for culture. We don't do that, but we, we talk about where we want to go and we talk about the things we want to accomplish. We do things with our families. We do our, it was funny. I do a word every year and I send out an email the first of the year talking about the word of the year. And this year the word was standard. Right. And it was like, let's, let's raise our standards, not professionally, man. Let's raise our standards personally. Like, let's be better. Like, let's let's do more. Let's be better fathers, better mothers, you know, better people, better for our customers, better friends. Right. Let's treat our bodies better. Let's treat our minds better. Let's raise our standard because your standard is what you do day in and day out, no matter who's watching. And so 
I'm always trying to send things out to push people outside their comfort zone. I'm trying to, and I, I sometimes I push too far, but I firmly believe like I would rather you hate me and be great than be your friend and watch you fail. And my ultimate goal is I just don't want to see people around me fail. And I think people can pick up on that. And it's an everyday 24 seven job, but it's what I believe in. And I think it's my duty as a leader. It's no different than being a father. Like, I made a post on Facebook the other day because I had a friend that just felt like wasn't being a good dad. And I'm, I told him, I was like, I just can't be your friend anymore, man. You're a terrible father. And anyone that's a terrible father, I don't want to be associated with. And my post on social media was like, look, I have one rule. And if you're a bad dad, I can't associate with you because you've already turned your back on the one person that needed you most. And But I think in leadership, when you choose to be a leader, right, and you open a company that you're essentially choosing to be a leader, that's your duty, man. It's like being a parent, like, there's people out there that are counting on you with their livelihood. They believed in your company over every other company. They put their family's future in your hands. And I just don't take that lightly. And I want to help them succeed at all costs. Now, I can't with everybody. And I understand right, that. Right. But that's what of course. Is, right. And it's, it's to create leaders that are trying to do the same thing. And look, man, we fight. We have issues. We yell at each other. We do all that stuff. But it's like, it's part of it's part of our stuff, like our families hang out together and it's just a it's a really a lifestyle. And so I think that keeps people motivated because it's not just about work. It's about the person. It's about the people. It's about the event. It's about all those different things we do together. And it's cool, man. We just created something very, very special that it's hard to pinpoint exactly. But it's an everyday thing of that. So we we are uh, we're going to be winding down in a couple of minutes, but man, I, I'll tell you this is this is a powerful talk, man. I I'm just like I I have probably talked least in this podcast than any other podcast. I, I think I've interviewed over 250 you know celebrities, business leaders, uh, multi multi. I mean, but I'm so impressed by you, Dustin. You have no idea, man. I mean, you're an absolute winner you're an absolute stud like you got it down you got your mindset down you got your focus down you got your family down you got everything down man and and i'll tell you i mean you're you are building a great life man just make sure that you continue to invest your money continue to have lots of streams of income because you are, uh, you're going to live a fun, I mean, you've already lived a great life, but man, your, your life is just going to keep on getting better. So you should be very proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. And, uh, and, uh, but I, I just, I, I think you're, you're a total absolute badass. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.